Oh, earthworm. See, earthworm on my bike. Hey, hey little guy, let's go. Get out of my bike. So I'm excited right now. Uh, I will see my bike after eight days. I've been out of station, and here is Veronica. Let's unbox her. Oh my God, she is so dirty. Oh. So yes, I've been in my uh, hometown for seven eight days so my bike was just parked for eight days i didn't use it at all oh my god what kind of dirt is this Shit. now it'll take time to you know start heat up and stuff I have to fuel it up as well. Tire pressure seems normal. Have to pour some water. There's no point washing the bike in the monsoons here, but uh, I need to clean the tank and the seats. So I need to pour some water over there. So let's get it cleaned and. Uh, let's let's go somewhere open where we can talk so i'll see you now finally i uh, i you know switched on my bike it took around 30 minutes i don't know what happened but uh, it wasn't starting it was giving errors like uh, low battery and then you know low fuel and all so it took me 30 minutes to start it like uh, I, I don't know why i really don't know why it, uh, it gave me weird signals on the meter so yes after a lot of mokachmari uh, i finally started my bike and here she is probably it uh, wasn't um, starting on because uh, uh, it was it was under rain and it was uh, not used for like eight days and the engine must have been very cold or the water might have been a problem so anyways i, would, I was a little bit scared at the at the beginning but uh, now it is fine so i'll show you again All right, so um, if you have been following my channel uh, since since a couple of weeks, uh, I recently uploaded a video in which um, I gave some uh, basic uh, safety tips for riding in monsoons, which included uh, an important point. Uh, the point was uh, the braking in monsoons, which made me think that, uh, hey, why not make a video uh, in which um, uh, you get the information of the brakes of your bike so um, I, I personally feel that uh, if you own a bike and um, if you know some basic things of your bike it would really help you to connect with your bike uh, as I always say and um, that is the reason I'm making this vlog so this vlog is uh, specifically dedicated to uh, the disc brakes so the first thing first um, for those people who aren't riders and um, don't know anything about motorcycle and uh, still watching this video uh, the disc brake is something like this this is the disc this is the brake so this assembly is the disc brake this is the rear disc brake and this one this one is the front one so let's get uh, into some details of the disc brakes now basically there are uh, three uh, three categories of disc brake the first one uh, is the drilled the second is the uh, slotted and the third uh, is the vented so the first one is the drilled slotted and then vented these are the basic three types of disc brakes that are used in any kind of uh, vehicle let it be a motorcycle um, a car see how dirty my bike is i'm sorry for this uh, dirt guys uh, i was thinking of um, cleaning the bike but then it started to rain and then i thought it is pointless i'll go out and it will get dirty again anyways 
So I'll start with the the two uh, the two types of disc brakes that are not really important to us uh, at this point: the slotted and uh, the vented. So now um, let's start about uh, the slotted uh, disc brakes. Now the slotted disc brakes uh, are the disc brakes that um, have slots in their disc. Like uh, suppose this is a disc, and uh, imagine it doesn't have any dots in the holes. It has uh, slots like this, like this cuts on the disc. And the uh, those cuts are designed in such a way that uh, when the brake pads they rub against the disc, uh, the slots clear off the uh, the dirt or any kind of sand that is on the uh, brake pad. So these type of disc brakes are generally used in uh, rally cars, uh, some motocross uh, bikes. And these are specially designed for uh, adventurous kind of purpose. Specifically, the vehicles uh, which are used for off roading. Uh, where a lot of uh, dust comes inside the brake pads then uh, in this case uh, in such cases uh, such type of disc brakes are used uh, generally we don't use such type of disc brakes in uh, motorcycles so regular motorcycles like this so yes uh, that is uh, the slotted disc brakes not used much now the second is the vented disc now uh, guys the vented disc uh, is the best disc brake effective disc brake um, uh, in all the disc brakes because uh, uh, the vented disc brakes have a uh, very much effective braking it is generally used in cars so guys if you have a car at your home uh, just have a look at the front uh, wheel inside the front wheel you'll see a disc um, it is a flat disc but uh, when you see more inside um, you'll see that it is kind of a, a thick disc with uh, with a channel in between them so these kinds of disc brakes are used only in cars because those are very very heavy disc brakes and uh, uh, they can't be really used in motorcycle because it is uh, it has no point uh, using such discs on a motorcycle. The reason for that is uh, uh, is uh, it is used in heavy vehicles which uh, need a lot of braking power. Motorcycles don't need a lot of braking power because its weight is uh, generally very very less compared to a uh, a car. These brakes have a very very effective. Uh, heat compensation mechanism. The the channel between the two discs that are attached, it um, it works as um, a heat outflow channel uh, for the disc and um, uh, it really don't get much heated up and it is the best uh, disc brake that you'll get among the, all the three disc brakes out there. I don't really think uh, uh, vented disc brakes are really used in any motorcycle. If you, if you know any motorcycle that uh, uses such kind of uh, disc, then you can just comment down below. I would really um, be happy to see such kind of bike. So those are the two not so important disc brakes uh, in this vlog, in this content. Now comes the third disc brake that is the most important, uh, important thing in this video. So the third and the most, most widely used disc brake is the drilled disc brake. Now drilled disc brake, uh, that as the name suggests, drilled disc brake is like this. You get a disc and then you have these holes drilled inside the disc. Now uh, when I was small, uh, I used to, I used to imagine, I used to wonder why do the disc brakes need uh, such kind of holes. I used to make points on my myself and uh, you know, tell it to my dad. But anyways, I was wrong. But um, as I got older, as I got into riding and into motorcycles, um, I got to know some basic points why these holes are drilled. You see, the front disc, it has holes as well. So the most important thing why these holes are drilled is uh, to escape the heat that is created in the disc. Now you would wonder why is this thing needed. Guys, uh, when, you, when you ride on a bike with a disc brake, uh, generally the disc brakes are provided for a bike which are above 150cc in India. The reason for that is uh, probably because uh, these bikes are a little bit more powerful than the basic 100cc bikes in India that we get. So suppose let's imagine you are riding on, uh, on a speed of 80 km an hour and you brake your bike. Uh, you continuously brake your bike and your whole ride and then when you reach uh, your destination just uh, have a check, uh, just have a finger check like come to the bike, hold your finger and just do it like this. Don't, don't press your finger like this because it will burn your finger. I have experienced it in my, uh, in my past with my older bike, uh, I, I got my finger burnt. I kept it like this for one second and then boom, I got a burn. Uh, the disc gets heated a lot. Now the disc is a metal, right? The disc is a metal and the brake pads are also metal. So uh, if 
if the if this disc uh, didn't had any holes like this it would have got heated faster now why uh, the basic simple idea behind this is that um, this disc with holes it has a greater surface area right suppose the disc didn't had any holes then it would have surface area of only this side and that side the holes they are not there so the heat of the disc and the brake pads when the brake pads come uh, when the brake pads come like this and push the disc uh, the disc gets heated a lot and the basic property of any metal is that when it gets heated uh, it expands and when it expands this this gap between the brakes and the disc that gap diminishes the more you break the more uh, the disc gets heated and it expands and um, the traction between the brake pads and the disc it increases and that would jam your wheel uh, not actually jam your wheel but it will it will make it hard um, i hope uh, you are understanding what i'm saying so that is the reason why these holes are drilled into the into the discs i'll show you a picture this picture is recorded with an infrared camera uh, which gives the heating readings um, of the view and you can clearly see that uh, the the some of the parts in the disc uh, the outer parts of the disc that are red um, that is the most hot part in the disc but uh, the parts uh, near the holes that are not really uh, very very hot they are in general general condition the warm condition the reason behind that is the holes guys if it didn't had any holes then um, the whole disc would have been red and that would have been a problem for braking so there are many reasons why these holes are drilled and the the main important the most important reason is the heat uh, dissipation the heat outflow of the brakes now when they drill the holes um, there are very high chances that uh, the disc might get warp Uh, while braking and that is the reason why the more holes you have in the disc bigger the disc gets so um, you can compare it uh, with uh, something like uh, 150 125 cc or 150 cc a motorcycle has a small disc with less number of holes but uh, a, a bike like uh, 390 duke or any other higher capacity bike it has a bigger disc with large number of holes now one more important reason why these holes are drilled is uh, is the reason for uh, water outflow in the in the rainy season or in the monsoons when you ride the motorcycle in rains so assume you are riding in uh, in rain and um, this disc is flat so uh, there are high chances uh, that the uh, that the gap between the disc and the brake pads uh, has a thin layer of water and uh, when you are at high speeds and when you are at high speeds um, this thin layer might be a problem for braking so these holes act as a channel for water outflow and uh, there is a very very minimal amount of water between the disc and the brake pad and that is the reason uh, you get super braking in uh, in wet conditions also um, with the disc brake and yes these holes and this kind of disc also improves the aesthetic feel of uh, the bike now the aesthetic feel of my bike is not really in a good condition right now because it is dirty so guys if you want to watch any other uh, video of mine which has such bike maintenance things and bike um, related things then uh, i have a separate uh, playlist for uh, such videos the playlist i'll, I'll put a card on this uh, for this playlist up here somewhere so you can just click the playlist and you can just check uh, the the kind of videos i have i think uh, na uh, such videos might uh, help you general basic bike uh, maintenance and uh, bike knowledge things so yes uh, i guess that's about it uh, these were the basic things of uh, the disc brake of any vehicle of of a bike actually um i think i have covered all the points but just in case i didn't cover any point related to this topic uh, you can just you know comment down below and i can uh, address it uh, uh, maybe in the next video so i guess uh, now you should know something about um, disc brakes if you don't if you didn't know uh, be, before watching this video and if this video was helpful to you guys then please do like the video and please do share the video and make other riders and other people know about uh, the brakes of their bike uh, these are the basic things that you must know i guess i feel you should know such things of your bike because it is a mechanism on which you uh, you sit and you ride guys so i think i have made my points very clear and yes if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe yaar kya farak padta hai ek subscribe ka button khali click kar do i come up with videos uh, almost every week so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next vlog please do like please do share please do subscribe 
and as always thanks for watching today i'm going to show you how to wash your bike with just one bucket of water that one bucket of water yeah because we don't have water right we don't have lot of water this year so let's start let's start shall we